This one's good. What's it called again? White wine. Oh, freaking love it. I think when you really base a character on real people and you really think of them as a real person, people in your lives are not stock. Everybody has so many quirks and so many nuances. Any character in a movie, you just have to think of them as human. <laughs> and, and so many times we're writing based on people we know or ourselves. And so any little quirks and stuff you put into that and I feel like that hopefully helps them seem like a real person. Let me know what you smell. There's no wrong answers. Uh, green apple? Yeah. Yes. Very good, green apple. Um, I wanna say canned peaches? No. I think a nuanced character is just good writing. I think if you have more of a stock character, people watching won't identify with them or relate to it. And with anything, when you're making a movie, you want people to watch it and feel connected. And either they're like that person or they're not like that person, but they see a real person there. And then so they feel something, they connect with something about their own lives. So I think when something's more stock, maybe you don't, you know, you don't, you can't find your way into identifying. The characters in Wine Country are all based on the ladies who play them and we're all just really good friends in real life and know each other super well. We also chatted with all the actresses to be like, what do you want to talk about that's really from your life in this movie? What's okay to create new for you and pulling from all of our different lives? We want to make sure every character was really specific and then had a strong point of view about what they wanted out of the weekend, what the girls trip was going to mean for them, and then something that they were going to learn from the weekend or Feel about themselves or change about themselves and so that the weekend could change them in some way with the help of all their friends and the power of female friendships to help you discover something about yourself, change something about yourself. And we used a ton of stuff from our real lives and pulled things from all the things we're experiencing as women in our 40s and it's about a woman turning 50 and we wanted to make it as specific as we could to what we're all experiencing. Character is everything to us. We like it way more than plot. <laughs> and so we really talk about each character What's this character like? We write breakdowns of things we might not even use in the movie, but you know, everything from what kind of music do they listen to? What do they wear? What do they like to do? What are their hobbies? So many times you write a script and you kind of, you picture who you might want it to be and that's how I do it. I have to picture an actor who I'm gonna want ideally to play it and then that helps me write for that character. Or if I'm writing a character based on somebody I know, I'm picturing that real person and saying it or doing those things. But for Wine Country, it was incredible. We knew exactly who the cast was gonna be so we could write, okay, this one's for Amy Poehler. I know she's gonna say this line. It was very lucky and, and a really cool experience to know who was gonna play it. I don't know if there's really a difference between needing to write a nuanced female character, a nuanced male character, or if you're writing animation, a nuanced cat <laughs> or whatever you're writing. I think it is just making them as real as, as people are and how interesting and how many sides of every single person there are and getting as many stories out there into the world for us to identify and learn about. How dare you! <gasps>